What a picture perfect day it was for our Sunday and for the Cherry Blossom Kite Festival. Huge crowds downtown and out on the mall today enjoying the clear blue skies and the warm weather and just enough wind to keep those kites airborne. News 4's Derek Ward has the sights and sounds from the festival down on the National Mall. There was no shortage of things to see in the skies around the Washington Monument and no shortage of smiles on the ground. Oh, you cannot smile. Look around. I mean, the sun's shining. It's a gorgeous day. People just come down with their kites and their picnic blankets and they just enjoy the day. It's a great family activity and a great family tradition. A tradition that started some 56 years ago, enduring amid the winds of change and more high tech activities that often consume leisure time these days. The winds were high and so was the turnout for the annual kite festival. The pros were there to cast their complex creations to the wind. Hey. <laughs> it's a hobby that mixes physics and art and patience. There's some who do art, some who do aerodynamics, there's some who do both. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. We actually have a master kite flyer from Japan who went to the KIPP schools yesterday to teach children, uh, third to fifth graders. So, looks kite. like you're good to go, right, Jeff? Or you got me kite. Without any further ado. Some future master kite builders tried their hands at the craft, and some others who were just there making memories on a beautiful day in the nation's capital. This year's kite festival was supposed to be held on Saturday, but a chilly rain prompted organizers to wait out the weather. A wise choice, a sky full of kites, beats a sky full of raindrops any day. On the grounds of the Washington Monument, Derek Ward, News 4. While the skies were full of kites, the roads packed with traffic all around the Tidal Basin and on the Potomac River bridges today. Take a look at the I-95 camera. This is heading into the city this afternoon. No one getting anywhere in any kind of hurry. Traffic on the Key Bridge driving in from Virginia also at a standstill. What's normally a 30-second trip maybe over that bridge took some people 30 minutes today.